Game one between the Mavericks and the Timberwolves was a battle. The Timberwolves strutted into the game capturing headlines, thanks to Anthony Edwards' star, which was on the rise. The Mavericks, on the other hand, had their game plan set. Solving the Edwards problem was at the top of their to-do list, but unfortunately for the Mavs, Ant started the game on a heater. Anthony Edwards. By the first buzzer, he was sizzling, shooting a blistering 75% from the field and sinking both of his three-point attempts. Comes Anthony Edwards, a long shot. When he wasn't setting the net on fire from downtown, he was gifting McDaniels open look after open look for three-pointers. Good screen for Edwards, outside McDaniels, three, another one. And guess what? He didn't even sit down. Minnesota kept him in the game for the whole first quarter. Yes, he played all 12 minutes. So the Mavericks' plan was to punish him and make him work on defense, getting him to chase after Kyrie nonstop. Irving will try hard. And because passing isn't exactly an ant's top skills, Dallas was more than happy to cram their defense towards him, daring him to play make-believe as a facilitator. A bad pass. It whistles over the head of the leaping point guard for the Wolves, Conley. The Wolves' strategy revolves around Edwards' ability to storm the rim, so the Mavs pack the paint tighter than sardines, denying Edwards any clear lanes. The result? Edwards couldn't even sniff the paint in the entire second quarter, and with his usual paths barricaded, Edwards resorted to hurling pull-up threes. Edwards with a three. Of course, the kid is uber talented, so he was able to splash one even in the face of good defense. Long three points. With Dallas turning the paint into a no-fly zone, Edwards adapted, still managing to dish out assists to open shooters in the corners. Corner three. Dallas's master plan deployed Derek Jones Jr. like he was Edward Shadow, mirroring his substitutions one for one. Jones Jr. for Hardaway. Whenever Edwards actually found a driving lane, Dallas's rim protectors made it a priority to collapse the paint to make his life a living hell. Edwards fakes, tries, and tries to throw the run in, and a loose one is out of bounds. Stop, start, chance, tries, lost it inside. A lot of traffic. The priority, even in transition, was to stop Edwards at all costs, even if it meant handing out open corner threes. Here they come the other way. Anderson, the trailing Edwards, goes into Jones, sets and feeds, corner three, Reed. This defensive masterclass paid dividends, as Edwards' shot chart in the third quarter was, well, 0% from the field, the majority of his shots being bricks from three. Passing oh! oh! Just not as good up on the above the break. Gobert kicks it outside. Edwards a three. As the game rolled on, Dallas' strategy to exhaust him mirrored Luka's determination to outplay Edwards. Wonderboy was stepping up the pressure in this generational duel. A bottom Edwards. The right each other into the paint. Got it. Foul. Doncic with Edwards there again. Twirls, tries, lays it up for two. Pretty play. Doncic falls hard. But after solving Edwards on their to-do list, the Mavericks' next big puzzle was Carl Anthony Towns. Their plan was to double cat in the post, even if it meant leaving Kyrie Irving as the last line of defense against Rudy Gobert. Towns makes a pass to Gobert and then Gafford got an unfortunate hit in the face there. The Mavericks had a sneaky wish for Rudy to step up as a playmaker because, as everyone knows, asking a big guy to suddenly turn point guard rarely works out. To the top of his game and go there inside and not the way inside. As far as Kyle Anderson was concerned, the plan was to leave him open and force him to make threes. Anderson free. Luca even cranked the disrespect to 11, not bothering to defend him with anything more than a casual glance. Anderson, clearly not a fan of being underestimated, made them pay. Shot clock at five. Anderson. Wow! What a... Five of six! What a plus. This is big. Offensively, the Mavericks' plan was simple. Hit the Timberwolves fast and hard in transition, catching them before they could even think about defense. And who better to lead this blitz than Kyrie, acting as the general on the fast break battlefield. Now it's Kyrie Irving through traffic. Knifing for two! Foul coming! 
Uncle Drew came out guns blazing in the first half scoring 24 points, a flip in the script since he usually turned it on in the second half so far these playoffs. Meanwhile, the Mavericks' plan to tire Ant out continued paying dividends following a less than stellar third quarter. Edwards continued to find the going getting tough early in the fourth, and this was courtesy of Derek Jones Jr.'s suffocating defense. Edwards, hard move, and a kick, and he threw it away. But just when everyone thought his tank was finally empty, he started to come alive from beyond the arc. Edwards tees one up. Let's see now. If an action like that. Despite his shooting woes, Edwards was a linchpin in Minnesota's defense. Down court. Oh, Edwards oh. intercepts the pass. Jones, Irving in the corner. Edwards is there. Look at the series of moves. He got open to fire. Rebound Towns. Running on what seemed like the last vapors of gas in his tank. See, I don't know if Edwards can give him anything offensively because he's so tired. Look at him. Edwards resting in that corner over there in front of the Dallas bench. Ant-Man still managed to pull out a couple of downtown specials, shooting two of four from downtown. Edwards with a double-double, 10 points, 16, I'm sorry, 10 rebounds, 16 points. Edwards will dance with Jones. Got the screen, fires the trade. And for Dallas, in a twist of fate, Luka swapped his usual early game heroics for the role of the closer. With Minnesota persisting with drop coverage against screens, Luka was taking full advantage, blossoming under the pressure. He unleashed a 7-0 personal onslaught, catapulting Dallas into the lead. Now Alexander Walker's 0 for 9 over his last two ball games from three. Doncic with a three, uh -oh. sticks it! Uh-oh, wow! 7-0 personal run here by Luca. And while the Timberwolves were lighting it up from downtown with a dazzling display of threes. Nas Reed begins the fourth for Minnesota with a three. Edwards will curl and feed. Corner three. Down it goes. McDaniels. Corner three. McDaniels. Jaden McDaniels. Dallas was struggling to find the mark from beyond the arc, shooting a chilly 6 of 25. Wide open Washington. They need him to knock down those threes. Got the miss. The three won't go. Look at the hustle by Jones. Puts it up. However, the Mavericks made up for their outer cold snap by turning up the heat in the paint. They racked up a whopping 62 points inside, outscoring Minnesota by a hefty 24 points in that area. Much of this success stemmed from Minnesota's defensive strategy. With the Timberwolves sticking to drop coverage, Luka and Kyrie exploited the mid-range like expert chess players, turning what should have been a defensive maneuver into a liability for Minnesota. For Dallas. It's Luca from 15, and he delivers. Back to back, back to back baskets now by Luca, starting to warm up here. Shot clock at seven. Luca will make a move. Let's it rip. Doncic puts it in. Four point Dallas lead. The game wrapped up with a heart stopping moment as Dallas nearly gave it away with an unnecessary foul on a three point attempt in the dying seconds. Conley on the oh, three. Fouled him. Fouled, him. fouled him on a three. Mm. That could have been fatal. Nonetheless, the Mavericks clung on for dear life and pulled through. It seems someone might have slipped coach Jason Kidd a reminder that yes, his teams can indeed win game ones in the playoffs, breaking a streak that seemed as persistent as a pop-up ad. For the first time in six playoff series under Kidd, the Mavericks finally clinched a game one victory. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, be the goat of that moment. Stay goated.